Tech still here, let's talk about matrices. Now, matrices may seem complicated at first, but it's actually very simple. You just have to know which are the best matrices for your characters and then start allocating resources so you can farm said matrices. First, let's talk about how you get SSR matrices because that's really easy. So let's get that out of the way. First one is from the joint operation. So you can go to any of these stages whenever they're available and starting at difficulty five, you start getting these SSR matrix drops, but they are character specific. So here in the deep sea proving ground, we have the zero matrix and the Merrill matrix. Picking a different one will give you a different drop. Now, if you really want to try hard, you can plan ahead so that when you know that your day is coming, that matrix that you really want is coming, you can save up some of your vitality so that you're able to do at least two full runs of joint operation on that said day. It is worth noting that on Sundays, all of these are going to be open so you can pick and choose whichever you like. The next way is from world bosses. With Robark, you can get the king matrix. With Lucia, you can get the Shiro matrix and so on and so forth. Do take note that you need these gold type 3 chips to get a chance at getting SSR drops from world bosses. So this is why it's important to know early on what matrices you are targeting so that you don't waste farming world bosses and using these type 3 chips on them because you only get so much of them every week on bosses which drop matrices that you don't need. Same thing with joint operations. You want to be sure which one of these you want to do early on so that you don't waste any vitality farming matrices that you don't need. And the final way is from void rips. Do correct me if I'm wrong. If I missed any other way to get SSR matrices, let me know in the comments. So here you are also rewarded with SSR matrix. This is not a Merrill SSR matrix. This is a random SSR matrix. And you also get this proof of purchase, which you can use to pull from the standard matrix banner. And once you have enough base chips, you can actually buy SSR matrices from the shop. Take note that the wording on this may be confusing. It says the box contains all types of Merrill matrices, but this only means that it contains all four slots of the Merrill matrix and you only get to pick one of them. So now that you know how to get SSR matrix, it is now time to decide which ones you need and start farming those. So let's start off with the Shield Breaker characters. These are characters with a high shatter stat. We're talking King, Meryl, and Shiro. With these characters, your best set is going to be a two-piece King and a two-piece Shiro. The two-piece King gives you more damage when you break the shields of an enemy, while the two-piece Shiro gives you more damage and shatter to a target with more than 50% HP. Now you may think that's not really good because of the 50% HP condition, but this is the best we got when it comes to shatter characters. So that's it if you're using King, Meryl, or Shiro to shatter shields, you want to slap on a two-piece King and a two-piece Shiro. Now let's talk about the DPS characters. These characters typically have high charge stat. Now, of course, the supports also have a high charge stat, but they use a different set. For the DPSs, Crow, Samir, and Tsubasa, your go-to is the two-piece Samir and the two-piece Crow. The two-piece Samir gives you more and more damage the more you attack. Pretty straightforward. The two-piece Crow gives you more crit damage to targets with less than 60% HP. Now this works well because Crow, Samir, and Tsubasa have a high crit stat, and you need a high crit stat to have a high crit rate, and you need to have a high crit rate to even deal the crit damage. Now we can leave the DPS matrices at that. However, if you want to go all in on either Crow or Samir or Tsubasa, you can opt to go for their four piece sets. However, do take note that the Samir four piece set only works on Samir herself. So you gotta make sure that if you are going to start farming and investing in the four piece set of Samir, you are all in on Samir because the four piece set effect does not affect other weapons it says increase dual em stars so that's exclusive the same thing with tsubasa the four piece set affects her one skill the piercing shot so this is exclusively for tsubasa mains however i will say that the four piece tsubasa matrix set is great for a damage buffer tsubasa because tsubasa especially with advancements is good at buffing the team's damage if you're going for main dps tsubasa it is still recommended to go for the two piece samir and two piece crow and then finally with crow if you are going and all in on crow you could go with a four piece crow set this four piece set also works on other weapons just make sure that those other weapons also have a high crit stat moving on to the final role which is the support or the healers it's just the four piece coco set the two piece gives you more healing and healing received the four piece gives an attack bonus to whoever gets healed so this is also great on nemesis but of course if you're a whale you can go for the four piece nemesis set in the limited matrix banner but 
I'm sure you're not. If you're watching this, you're probably not a whale. <laughs> but with Zero, since Zero is a shield focus character rather than a healing focus character, it is actually better to go for the 4P Zero because it just gels well with his kit. He gives shields, and if you have the 4P set, you will deal more damage while you have the shields. This also affects your teammates. So we've covered the three supports, Coco, Zero, and Nemesis. And we've covered the three DPS, we've covered the three shatter characters. There is one character missing, and that is my favorite Huma. So Huma is kind of in a special place because she has a good shatter stat and a good charge stat, not necessarily excelling in either one, but her gameplay is focused around her dodge attack, especially when you get her advancements. She is also most likely going to be run in a fortitude team comp with Meryl. So when you have both Meryl and Huma, you get the fortitude resonance effect and you're gonna shatter like crazy. This also means that Meryl is going to be your dedicated shatter character. So that leaves Huma with some flexibility. Now you can't go with the DPS set for Huma because Huma doesn't have a crit stat. So what you actually want to do is if you haven't guessed it yet, you want the 4-piece Huma. The 4-piece Huma synergizes with her dodge attack playstyle. Every dodge attack you'll do will apply bleed to enemy targets. So you're not getting more upfront damage, but you are getting a lot of damage over time. And if you're able to efficiently apply this to many numbers of enemies, then that damage over time adds up, which makes her a good DPS. On top of that, the 4P set effect also reduces the attack of enemies who have bleed. So you and your team are going to have higher survivability with this set. And those are all the best matrices for every character currently in the game. So make sure you plan ahead with your vitality and your world boss gold keys so that you can start farming and investing in the matrices that you actually need. I hope this has been helpful and if it was, maybe hit that like and maybe share the video. It would be such a great help. And follow and subscribe, turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of our future guides. You can also join our community at discord.gg xfam. I also go live at fb.gg xnoph. And I'll see you there.